Good evening. My name is Ken Long. I'm a second year doctoral student at Colorado Tech University, and I'd like to take you on a short story through participatory action research entitled, If You Ask a Simple Question. I'm a retired Army officer with 25 years of service, working now as an assistant professor of force management and sustainment at the U.S. Army Command and General Staff College at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. I'm the Chief of Curriculum Development for one of the five departments, the Department of Logistics and Resource Operations, which is responsible for 15% of the annual coursework for all Army majors that attend Command and General Staff College. I'm a second-year doctoral student at Colorado Tech in the, in the Doctorate of Management program, and my research interest is in action research inquiries into course curriculum and educational environments at the Command and General Staff College and in adult education in general. By way of background, the Command and General Staff College is one of four primary educational institutions in the Army. It instructs all Army majors in campaign operations and planning and large unit management. It falls underneath the Training and Doctrine Command, which is responsible for all Army recruitment, training, and education, the development of doctrine and concepts, and the management of all schools. Our sister organizations are the Materiel Command, which provides and acquires and sustains Army equipment, and Forces Command, which brings together materiel and personnel and integrates them into ready units and provides those forces to regional commanders called geographic combatant commands, which are forward deployed globally and who command operational units and perform missions. They also serve to identify the requirements that the organizations in blue are designed to create. We all fall underneath the Department of Army, which is responsible for plans and policy and operational support and employment. The role of the Command and General Staff College, then, is to educate majors to assume positions of staff responsibility and command across the entire force and at Department of the Army. While gathered around a table one day, the senior leaders of the Command and General Staff College took a look at the following chart. We saw the red line, and it's fair to ask, what is it and what does it mean? It turns out that this is the student survey return rate and measured satisfaction rate over time across the atypical calendar and academic year. Students, as the year progresses, return a lower percentage of surveys, and their measured satisfaction declines uh, as the year goes on. The senior leader's explanation, after consulting their experience, were that students were too tired to fill out and return the surveys as the year progresses because they've been working hard and they have a lot to do. They were satisfied with that answer in general. I asked the question, how do we know that that's true? And I didn't get a satisfying answer. And so my radical thought was to ask the students to explain that chart. So we convened a participatory action research group consisting of students and a few facilitators from the faculty and curriculum developers and asked them, would you please help us understand this chart because we think that you're too tired. The students explained that, in fact, no, the surveys are worthless, that we don't get any feedback from the surveys that we fill out, and that's why we stopped returning them. We refuse to waste our time filling out surveys and not getting feedback. We're angry, not tired, and that we ask the wrong questions. This was quite different than the senior leader explanations. The faculty and curriculum designers then engaged in a dialogue with the students and asked, how can we improve? We told them that we changed next year's course based on their feedback, but we acknowledged that we never told them. We asked, how can we make the feedback system more worthwhile? How can we satisfy you with the feedback that you get? And what questions should we be asking? It's important to note that four out of those five responses to the students were in the form of questions asking for more information, and only one of them about changing next year's course was a point of clarification. One of the students observed intelligently that conversations are two-way communications between people. Surveys are a one-way, third-person measuring device and that they weren't lab rats. As a consequence of, of engaging with the students, uh, by the end of the action research cycle, we actually took the data from surveys and had meetings. We 
turn that into information that we were able to create meaning from, which was turned into action and led to increased satisfaction of students, of faculty, of curriculum designers, and senior leaders. The dialogue we engaged in improved a specific feedback system, improving understanding and cooperation. Senior leaders were open to the results that were provided. Along the way, we identified five questions that students believe we should ask of every class. The five questions triggered the next phase of the participatory action research and produced a pilot feedback si system which led to improved student satisfaction and improved teaching practice. Along the way, we were able to connect our personal experiences to broad educational theory. Also coming out of the specific improvement was the concept of voice that emerged from multiple cycles of the participatory action research. And by voice, we generally mean something like an all-encompassing quality of human communication which shifted the culture inside the college, how we looked at each other, how we looked at the curriculum, and how we engaged in the classroom. It's leading me to ask, as my broad research question, how do we encourage voice in the college once I saw the positive results? And all of this was triggered from a simple question of how do we know that? I now want to drill a little bit deeper into the five questions, which was the next one of the next cycles of participatory action research. The five questions that students decided we should be asking were, what was the best part of the class for you, the worst part? What was your best takeaway or resource from this class? What was your biggest surprise? And what is your biggest unanswered question? By way of technique, we asked the students to conduct a two-minute quick write on a 5 by 8 card anonymously, collected and turned in by the class leader. With that feedback, we take the best and the worst, and we use that to inform our lesson design. The best takeaways and resources we add to the resource base and make them broadly available to other classes and future classes. The biggest surprises give us insights into the baseline knowledge of the students and what it takes to achieve a connection to their effective domain. The biggest unanswered questions we compile and put into a frequently answered questions memo and we follow up with written answers within 24 hours to all the students. This serves to improve our knowledge and resource base, improves our faculty development program, and informs future lesson design.